this morning. You heard earlier, what is this special day today? It's Veterans Day, is that right? And uh, this is a time that we can show our appreciation for all of the military men and women who have served or are serving now and just let them know how much we appreciate the sacrifices that they made. You know, they go overseas and they leave their families behind and don't see children for a long time. And, uh, you know, the kids and the moms really miss them or the dads. And they're just different sacrifices that they have made. They didn't give their life, the ones we're honoring today, uh, but they have served and sacrificed for all of us and for our freedoms, right? One of the symbols of our freedom is the American flag, right? Well, that flag is very special to the service men and women because they have a flag on all of their daily uniforms. Now, you don't see it like on their fancy dress uniforms, I don't think, but they wear it on their right shoulder. You'll see it that it looks like it's backwards because the blue is up here close but that's the way it's supposed to be because the blue is the most important part of the flag. If you look back there, see the blue is up at the very top. And so it's always supposed to have the prominent place. And so this way it's here on their shoulder going forward. And so uh, I have wondered about that and, and looked that up. But there's another flag in here also. Okay. Can y'all point it out? Okay, does anyone know what that flag is? Okay, it's the Christian flag. It's got one of each for y'all. It was in uh, the early 1900s or the late 1800s that they realized that Christians needed a flag that was symbolic for them. And so one was developed and designed in the early 1900s and you look at it and you see that it's white for purity and innocence. There's the blue for the valor. No, that's, the blue it indicates uh, righteous faithfulness, excuse me, I'm getting my two flags mixed up. And then the red. What would what do you think that might be? The cross, and it is a cross, but okay, McKenna? Exactly, it was the blood of Jesus, and it's that red that really reminds us of the blood of Jesus. Well, Miss Diane's going to give you each one of both of these flags, and when you start to leave for Children's Church, I'd like you to go give them to your parents, please and not take them with you because these have a little bit of a point and I want everybody to be safe when you go. But the Christian flag, a lot of people not realize that there's a pledge to it just as we have to the American flag. And Mikhail's gonna come up and read this pledge for us. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Amen. It's good pledge for all of us to have. Huh? Okay, let's just have a word of prayer and then you can go to Children's Church. Father God, we're just so thankful for these precious children who come here to hear your word, to serve you, to know more about Jesus and the sacrifice that his, he made and that we see this red blood as a reminder of that. We thank you for our veterans and their service to our country. And we just ask for blessings on all in Jesus' name. Amen. Our ushers come forward at this time. We're going to receive our tithes and 